we're going to look at the song Famous One by Chris Tomlin, which is in 6-8, so it's going to be really useful for looking at licks and uh, grooves that work in that time signature. And hopefully we'll find that those can then translate into any other song that is also in 6-8. So let's listen through to the first part of the intro. So a mixture of long notes and shorter notes. Using octave slice to get some energy as well. Gaelic rundowns as well there. So the intro is set up by using some long notes and then a passage of short notes to make the, uh, the long stays on each chord a little more interesting. So as we can see we start on the E and there's two long notes and then we go up the octave and switch to some shorter notes, some eighth notes before going then walking up to the G sharp by going from those eighth notes up here. Going back to the low E and walking up the scale, F sharp, G sharp. On the G sharp there's just four long notes. Two, three, four, and then D. We have the same thing as the E, two long notes, and then those eighth notes again. down to the A, where we have a few low notes there, two long notes, slide up to the A up the octave. We have one of these little things where we go to the G and hammer onto the A. So that's one, two. So let's put that together without the backing track. So after six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and four, and D. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and the A slide. Before moving on, let's try that one more time. After six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Four, five, six, and to D, one, and the quick notes. Now the second half of the intro, again, follows a similar sort of theme, and here are some of the variations. So on the E, we start up higher with two long notes. It seems to get quite complicated already. So again, contrasting those two short, uh, two long notes and then a whole bunch of quicker notes in a contrast. So there's those two long notes. And then we rock back and forwards between the B and the E twice. And then drop down to the low E. There's a few notes there before popping up one high octave E before dropping down again. So that's rocking backwards and forwards. One short E note up there before going back to the low E and then walking up to the G sharp. So slowly that's one, two, rock. Again, one, two. One more time, one, two. Then on the G sharp again, there's two short, two long notes, and then some quick notes. And again with the D, we've got two long notes low down, and then those eighth notes up the octave. And then same as last time, the A with a slide. And that's the end of the intro. So let's try that second half of the intro without the backing track, nice and slow. So ready on the E, after six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Long notes. 
notes, and then the eighth notes, down to A, and the slide, and again, let's repeat that, E, up to G sharp, walk down, D, up the octave, and A with the slide. Now let's try the whole intro along with the backing track. Now we start with the first chorus, and here's what I play. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So you can see, again, there's a mixture of different rhythms there. There's some simple ones, just long notes, and then some quick ones, that's an A, then going up to a high A octave and running down from the octave to the fifth, that's an E, to the A, and that's one, two. A passing note, E to the C sharp, going up to the higher C sharp to get to the B, and then that more syncopated rhythm on the A, with that little fill in the middle going to the E, and then the G sharp. So that's... So try that with me. So starting on E, after six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, Four, five, six. Passing note down to C sharp and up again. And the syncopated rhythm and the fill. One more time. And the E up an octave, G sharp, A. Passing note up an octave again and the syncopated rhythm. Now the second half continues, again with similar ideas, and here are some of the variations I've tried. So again, starting on the E, with long notes, and the walk up to the G sharp, so that's one, E, F sharp, G sharp. And again, a little uh, period of quick notes to get from the G sharp to the A using B, G sharp, and then A. So that's from the E, one, two, walk up, those quick notes. And then you get two on the A low down, and then we change to that quicker rhythm up the octave. So we get three on the A up the octave, and then this little uh, phrase happens with rocking backwards and forwards between the A up to here and the E twice, and then going back to the low A. So that A section is two low down, and then three up high before the small lick. So before going along with the backing track, let's do that second half of the chorus one more time. Again, slowly after six. One, two, three, four, five, six, E. And walk up to G sharp, those quick notes. And the quick notes up the octave. Long notes on the C sharp and long notes on the B. 
Now let's try the whole chorus with the backing track. So now we hit the intro again, and this time around I've gone for a more consistent rhythm. Have a look at this. So you can hear the consistency, you can get this. And in those gaps, you get. So put that together and you get. So that's the rhythm we're going for. And also you can hear that the notes are kind of just basically using octaves with that little trill on the top. A little hammer on to the high octave and the same with the G sharp. On the second time I do that slide on the G sharp there is a little fill which goes like this. So you get that first hammer on and then go straight up to this B and then back to the hammer on to the G sharp again. So slowly that goes. So it's And then the pattern continues on the D notes and A. With the A, it stays lower down instead of going up like the pattern has been, so that you can hit a high note to end that intro before the verse starts. So it goes. So you can hear it stays lower, and then using the E, G sharp, and A gets up to the high octave. So let's try the intro together without the backing track. After six, on the E, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, four, five, six, G sharp. And the fill. And the slightly different A. Try that again. Four, five, six. One, two, three. With the fill. Now let's try that again, but with the backing track. Now the next verse and chorus are really similar to the previous ones. Again, it's just a case of there being variations in the fills, but they're usually at the same points. And this is because we're aiming for the points in the song where maybe the vocal has a bit of a space, a bit of a gap. Um, so you start to see where the gaps appear for a chance to try a fill. And just check out the backing track for what these variations are. But we'll move on to the morning star verse where the chords are going to change. So this verse starts with an F sharp minor, and we're just playing one note per bar, and then goes down to C sharp minor, which of course you can play this higher if you've got a four string. But it plays one note on the C sharp, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's half the bar on the C sharp, half the bar on an E as a passing note to the A. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six. A bar on the A, then it goes up an octave, and then walks down to the E. So that's a bar on the low A. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to the E. Then from the E, we have a nice little high melodic lick, which goes like this. One. So slow down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you hang on that E for a bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you leave one, semi, uh, one quaver rest before starting with your pivot as the B here. So you play one note on the B, then re reach up to one note on the G sharp up there, back to the pivot B, to the F sharp, back to the B again, and then to the, B, the E. So you can see how that pivot's working. One on the B, G sharp, B, F sharp, B, E. So following that through from the beginning, we have the note for a bar on the E. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. And once we hit that E, we just roll down to the fifth and the lower E. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. And then to get to the next chord, which is the F sharp minor again, we just use a passing note of that C sharp to get back up to the F sharp there. So play this along with me, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. E, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The verse then continues. So we've hit that F sharp after that high fill on the E chord, and we hit one full bar on that note and then drop to the F sharp an octave down and work up to the C sharp. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So from that low F sharp, we then go G sharp, B, C sharp. This would work on a four string. You just translate it back here probably. So you get that fill. <laughs> Move to the F sharp then, or probably easier to move to the C sharp after the E there. And then you get your low F sharp and walk up to the C sharp there. Once we hit the C sharp, we have a similar movement to what we had at the beginning, where we hit a C sharp for three beats one, two, three, an E for three beats, four, five, six, and then the A. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, A. And once we hit the A, we start the eighth notes going. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So a full bar on the A, then half a bar again before walking down to the B. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, walking down like a scale, A, G sharp, F sharp, and then the B. And here's where the last fill happens of that verse. So the last fill starts on that B note. We start the eighth notes going. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we get a full bar on the B, and then the first note of the next bar before going up to the fifth, F sharp, and then the A and B. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And that little phrase is repeated as you can hear. You get one note on these and then two on the high B. 
let's try that last fill together. So those two bars on the B, after four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Two, three, four, five, six. So let's try and put that verse together. Now, nice and slowly, starting on the F sharp. After six, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Down to the C sharp, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Passing note on the E, A, up an octave, and walk down. And the fill, four, five, six, one. Drop down to an F sharp, walk up to the C sharp, and then the same passing note of an E, and start driving the eighth notes. Walk down, and then the fill. We're going to try that with the backing track now. So if you're unsure, then just pause and rewind your player and get that really happening under your fingers before trying it with the backing track. The next chorus continues much like they have before. And again, instead of going through the minute variations which are in the part, I'll leave you to listen to them and find out your own variations you can find as well, getting to and from all the chords. But there are a few fills which I've done which I'll show you how they go. So the first one happens when we hit the A and we start by uh, driving eighth notes up the octave. So we spend a bar driving the A up the octave here, giving it lots of energy. And then comes this melodic bit. So again, sliding up from the B to the C sharp, and then rocking backwards from that C sharp and the E twice before using the B to slide back down to the E. So in slow motion, play with me if you can. That's Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's quickly play that along with the backing track, just so we can put it into context. So here the chorus starts. And you can listen out for the movement. And then here's the fill. And there's more movement here. And there's a fill let's look at now. So that second fill in that chorus goes something like this. I'll play up to it from the E and the G sharp. So slow down, that's one, two. And even slower, one, two. So we have a bar on the A. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we leave that first quaver before having a low A. Going up to our high A, which walks down the scale. 
that's A, G sharp, F sharp, E, and D sharp. So from the top of that A chord, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the feel continues with B, G sharp, down to the C sharp. So that's B, G sharp, and C sharp. So nice and slowly from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. So join in with me, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. And again, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And again, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. So let's play along with the backing track and try and get those two fills happening. So here comes our first fill. Keep playing through the chords. And the outro continues here, but it's just eighth notes all the way without much movement at all. So I hope learning some of those licks has been useful, uh, but remember, um, they're not the main thing. They only happen at very few intervals throughout one song. So remember to keep the, uh, the groove really tight, play in, in time as much as you can, and uh, go for those flamboyant fills at appropriate moments.